In addition to collecting whole blood donations, blood centers can use special equipment to collect one or more specific blood components at one donation. This allows blood centers to tailor the blood donation for each donor while meeting patient specific needs. Centers can look at blood usage trends to fine tune collections of a particular component and maximize the effectiveness of blood collection efforts. These collection processes take longer than a whole blood collection. In a traditional blood donation, donors give whole blood, which consists of red cells, plasma, platelets, and cryoprecipitate. Only one unit, about a pint of blood, can be given at each visit. But a high-tech process makes it possible for some blood donors to give just the red cells in their blood. And since they're giving only one part of their blood, they can donate up to two full units of it. What's so wonderful about this process is that red blood cells are the component of blood that's in greatest demand. The double red cell donation has been a hit with blood donors. Those who give four or six times a year enjoy double red cell donation because they can cut their visits to the blood center in half and still do just as much good for the community. People who give blood two or three times a year can stay on that same schedule but double the effectiveness of their blood donation. The donation takes longer than a whole blood donation. Whole blood donors may safely give every 56 days and automated red cell donors every 112 days. Along with meeting the regular blood donor qualifications, double red cell donors must meet additional requirements for height, weight, and hematocrit, or blood iron level. And the height and weight requirements for women are greater than they are for men. That might sound backwards because women tend to be smaller than men. However, men's bodies carry a greater blood volume than women's bodies. So generally speaking, a man who's 5'1 and weighs 130 has about the same blood volume as a woman who's 5'5 and weighs 150. The qualifications are based on blood volume, which has been translated to height and weight. Platelets and plasma can be collected with similar machines. During these apheresis donations, whole blood is collected and goes into a cell separator machine right next to the donor chair. The blood is spun in the machine to separate the components and a measured amount of the desired component is collected into a special bag. Then the red cells and other components are returned to the donor. Platelets are the component in whole blood that helps control bleeding. Because only about one tablespoon of platelets can be collected from a unit of whole blood and they can be stored for just a few days, platelets are a very precious component of blood. Platelets are used in large quantities and over extended periods of time by leukemia, cancer, aplastic anemia, and marrow transplant patients. Platelets also are used during surgery to help stop bleeding. The entire platelet phoresis donation takes less than two hours. This includes the donor's health interview, approximately one hour and 20 minutes for the actual donation, and time for light refreshments afterwards the body is able to replenish its supply of platelets very quickly. Donors may donate platelets up to 24 times in a year.